To make a summary report, we often have to consolidate data. But if we don't create a link between consolidated and source data, then the consolidated data won't be updated automatically when source data is changed. So it's an important issue while consolidating data. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulmin from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Our discussion today will be on how to create a linked consolidation in Excel using two ways. We have sales records of three years in three different sheets for the first quarter year with respect to UK, Canada and London. We will do it using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will use a formula for linked consolidation. We will just find the sum of sales using the sum function for every connected month and region as a summary report. Our source dataset should be of same size of our cell reference. Here we can see that it contains four columns and four rows for all the source dataset and our output dataset as well. Otherwise, this method won't work properly. In cell C5, let's type sum tab now select 2019 worksheet select c3 or sales of uk for 2019 january now press and hold the shift key and select 2021 worksheet enter now going back to the cell we can see that the sum function is working on cell number c3 for 2019 to 2021 worksheet references. Now let's double click on the bottom right corner so we get the sales report of January for those three years for each of the country. Let's use fill handle tool to drag it till March and we get corresponding months sales report for all those three years and corresponding to regions. Now let's try to change our data and see if it gets updated or not. Let's change the data for 2019's January for Canada. Let's make this 000, enter. And here, so we can see that this value is changed from the previous value. There is a dedicated command in Excel named consolidate to create a linked consolidation. The advantage of it is there is no need for the same cell references in every sheet. You can place the data set anywhere. First, select a cell in new sheet, say B4. Now go to data tab and from the data tools group, select consolidate. Here from the window, choose sum as function and as reference, Go to 2019 worksheet and select B2 to E5. Add as reference. Now select 2020. Click on add. Select 2021. Click on add. As we have headers along a row and a column, mark the top row and left column option from the use labels in section as we want to create linked consolidate so mark create links to source data finally just press ok now we can see these plus signs here these plus signs here are for we wanted to have link of source data formats are not maintained here let's add them here let's copy them see control x and paste them here now let's click on the plus sign beside canada this one you can see all the records from three source worksheet for canada before from 2019 20 and 21 now let's try to change data and check if it's updated instantly now look at the march total for canada which is 203175 let's change it here to six two three four sixty thousand 
you can see that it's no longer the same. So it's automatically updated as well. From these two methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.